Hey guys, we're nearing the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021. If you want to know what apps you should use for productivity to make you the best and the most productive person in your class or your office, then this video will be perfect. I will be talking about 15 of my favorite productivity apps that I basically cannot live without. So let's get started. The first app we have here is a video editor. VN is one of my favorite apps to make quick edits to an Instagram video or even make some quick shots for these videos. You get a very intuitive timeline that you can simply drag and drop files into. Everything loads very quickly and the whole app is just very smooth. You can add transitions and effects to the shots and cuts can be created fairly easily. You can also of course add texts, masks, and text masks. VN Video Editor is available to download directly from the App Store for free, and it has an iPad and iPhone app as well, with the same features. This entire app has everything available on it without costing you a single dime. There's no paid version, so you're getting everything here. It only has some unobtrusive ads from when you launch the app. By the way, this video is not sponsored, and also I don't have ads on this channel. So if you'd like to support me, just press the subscribe button. It will really mean something. Next up, we have Spectacle. Spectacle allows you to set custom keyboard shortcuts that resize windows and allows windows management to be a lot more efficient. As you can see here, I am able to move this window around with only keyboard shortcuts. Not only that, it works with any app, allowing resizing, so it helps with your workflow no matter what you do. Overall, this is one of my favorite apps. If you only get one app from this entire video, I would recommend you to get this one. My favorite application for Safari is Replicate Tabs. If you ever open up a bunch of web pages that you want to keep for later, but without having to save them all into bookmarks, then you can use Replicate Tabs. Simply click on the extension, and then on Save Tabs. After you close and reopen Safari, you can press the Replicate Tabs button and double click on the set you want restored. For me, uh, it is really helpful and it works really well, especially that it's free. So if you are a researcher or if you're a powerhouse with Safari, this is great. However, this does not work for Chrome. So if you use Chrome, this is unfortunate. But now let's talk about Alfred. Alfred is a free app that's like Apple's Spotlight Search, but it's so much better. It has a paid upgrade as well, but we won't talk about that just yet. With the free version, you can do so much that it's literally impossible for me to show every single function in this video without having it be over an hour long. However, a few examples are that you can define words, you can spell check words, you can do basic system functions, um, you can do advanced system functions, uh, you can open files, locate files, and alter files, and just so much more. A lot of YouTubers have already made videos detailing other functions, so I won't be talking about them here. If you have some apps or files on your computer that you just really don't want other people to access, even if they go inside your computer, then Encrypto is perfect for you. I have these files that you know are very confidential, so I'll encrypt them. You can simply drag and drop them into the app uh, and set a password. In this case, I'll set hello and I'll make the hint hello as well. This will create a .crypto file. You can also email these .crypto files, so even if your email gets hacked, files will still be safe. This is like, this is what I use for most of uh, my transactions. So if you don't have this, you should get it since it's free. It's also available on Windows as well, so if you're transferring files between systems, this, uh, this is great. Fluid is a free open source app that allows you to make new applications. Well, technically, it makes web apps. You simply write on the URL of a website and the name, and Fluid makes a web app version of that. I've already made one for YouTube from before, so here you can see it runs just like its own application. If you open the links, it will open in your browser instead too, so it's used for a lot of things for me. One of such is Asana. Asana is my favorite task management app or it's more of a service that I it has the features you come to expect, obviously, but um, without having to pay for the premium version, you still get everything you would need. 
you can add teams and this app is actually mostly for team management but if you use Apple Reminders then you would already be used to this interface so it's a really easy transition. It comes with iPhone, iPad, Android apps and of course the website that you can make into a web app. Making scripts for these videos and writing my homework takes a lot of time. I personally use IA Writer as my typing software of choice. It is expensive, being at a one-time fee of $30, but it's designed so well I might just recommend it. It shows you syntax as you're writing, it corrects your text directly, and it grays out other sentences and paragraphs to help you really focus on what you're currently writing. Of course, this is all changeable in the preference as well. On average, I can type out my thoughts about 50% faster than I would usually be able to uh, in something like Google Docs, Apple Pages, or other applications. And for 30 bucks, you've got to come to expect that every element of this app is customizable and altered to your liking. So even the app icon is changeable, which, you know, just tells me that they put a lot of detail into this. At the end of this video, I'll be showing you how to use this one program to run both macOS apps and Windows apps at the same time, so stay tuned. I am able to drag and drop files between systems with nearly no latency. This is insane. Spectacle is enough for 90% of what I need a Windows management app to do, but the other missing 5% bugs me. This is where Hookshot comes in. It costs $10, which might seem arbitrary for what it does, but you'll quickly see the value in the efficiency. It does what Spectacle does, but with your mouse. You can also set Windows boundaries to something like the edge of the next window. This app also allows window snapping, like the other popular inferior operating system. If you have a few dollars to spare, I would recommend you to get this app. Another app that I use every day and really helps with the usability is multi-touch. If you use the magic trackpad or the magic mouse, this app allows you to set custom touch gestures. For $15, or well, USD, you get the functionality and customization you pay for. For example, I made taps on the magic mouse act like clicks, so I can use my Mac in silence. I made clicking on the top left corner of the trackpad run command W, and force clicking uh, do command Q. This allows me to quit apps and close windows with great efficiency, even when I'm not on the keyboard itself. Finally, number 15, Parallels Desktop. <laughs> Parallels Desktop allows you to run Windows and Mac at the same time without having to reboot. It is very expensive, coming at $100 per year. But in my opinion, if you hear me out, if you are a professional who uses both Windows and Mac OS a lot, this is actually worth the money. Files stored in Windows automatically get synced to macOS and vice versa. This isn't like a standard emulator or virtual box, as it uses all of your hardware's power. Not only are files synced, the clipboard is also shared. This makes working between systems so much quicker. What's even cooler is that there's a mode called coherence, where you can run simultaneously uh, macOS and Windows apps together. Here, I'm running Microsoft Edge on my Mac desktop. It works just like a native app. This is especially helpful if you're running an app that is only available on Windows, and it needs to be used often in unison with macOS applications. Now, I'm running File Explorer and Finder at the same time. I am able to drag and drop files between systems with nearly no latency. This is insane. Any and every aspect of Windows work perfectly. This has been a great app for me, so if you are a professional who requires switching operating systems often, I would recommend Parallels Desktop, despite the price. All right guys, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Uh, click on the video on the screen right now, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and also leave some comments too.